Hey everyone, it's up North Collectors here. We're doing a random pack video. We have 32 baseball packs, mainly hobby packs here. So this is going to be fun. We haven't done one of these for a couple weeks. We try to do one every other week, but last week we got two releases, Bowman and Select Baseball. So that filled up our calendar. So here we go. It's uh, Monday night, the 1st of June that we're recording this. You'll see this probably either on Tuesday or Wednesday. So hopefully everybody's doing well. Yeah, so time to get into it. We've got two 2017 Top Series 1 Hobby Packs, two um, of the Upper Deck Signature Stars Hobby Pot Packs to finish out our box of that stuff. Um, we've got two 2020 Heritage Baseball Packs, two 2020 Series 1 Packs, two 2019 Update Packs, We've got a 2018 Series 1 and a 2020 Series 1 Jumbo Packs. That's pretty sweet. Um, we've got two Bowman Retail Packs from a Blaster. Actually, we have three of these packs. Um, these are actually pretty good. These Bowman like Fat Packs, Value Packs, whatever you want to call them. Um, Hanger packs, packs. I don't know what they call them. <coughs> two Heritage yeah, go ahead. Two Heritage High Number from last year. These are all from Blasters as well. Got two 19 Chrome Update. Two Gypsy Queen Hobby Packs. Two Series 1 18 Hobby Packs. Two Goodwin Champs Hobby Packs. We've got a Ginter Pack and an Archives Pack. And then we have a Pro Debut a Stars and Stripes, another Bowman, and Tribute. We don't have any old packs this time, so that's all right. Yeah. Let's do some more modern stuff. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, please do that. We're trying to post on there regularly, so at Up North Collectors, with an underscore between the Up and North and North and Collectors. All right. Blaster time, Kettle Marte. These packs are fun. Um, we haven't. We've done out of retail. We've done okay so far. Nothing too crazy. But the crazy thing this year is that the base Chrome, uh, like just like the Chrome first of some of these people are selling for really good money. Yeah, going for a lot more. Um, than... Which I mean, last year you could have bought Wander cards for like ten bucks at the most, maybe. Um, I think what does Dominguez Chrome sell for nowadays? I don't even. Know. I don't know. They were obviously going crazy yeah but. but they're not like they're still like 30 or 40 dollars i want to say yeah. so perez joey bart hit his autograph a gold op paper autograph of his out of a blaster last year yeah that was pretty sweet um, that was cool um and we've done obviously well this year with bowman <laughs> still haven't sold our card but it's only been up there for a week we got 44 watchers is that what i told you i think so yeah it? it's crazy There's and like i don't know how many views, views or yeah, something yeah it's so, crazy but nobody's made an offer on it yet which is understandable it's a very uh high dollar card and and there's one that that is comparable a possum that's uh, Orange Shimmer Auto that's uh on auction i believe for 5 days so i'm watching that one to see what that goes for Gypsy Queen. I don't think we've gotten an. I'm almost 100% sure we have not pulled an autograph from Gypsy Queen. I don't think so. I just looked at that box. It's pretty full. Yeah, I don't think we have. There it is. There right it is there. right there. So let's hope now it's a we good have. one. Let's hope it's a good auto. We've actually, yeah. we hit a Lux autograph out of yeah. one hobby box this year. So we did pretty good. Um, we had another guy, too, in there that was halfway decent. I can't remember who it was. but It was a good box. It was a really good decent, box. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it, it was a blue, blue auto. Maybe yeah. it's not an auto. Oh, yeah. It might not be. It may be a, a It had parallel? a different back, though. Kansas City. Like Whit Merrifield. It's yep. definitely an auto. Whit Merrifield. We've gotten a lot of his autographs yeah, before. He's so. a good. He's a very good player. Really good player. It's just not a uh, lot of hobby love for Whit Merrifield. But if you look at the guy's stats, they're pretty good stats, to say the if least. If I wanted a Whit Merrifield auto from Gypsy Queen, this would probably be the one. This is cool. That's the pretty cool, border, yeah. That's um, yeah. The Royals. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Um, we bought the Royals and like team breaks of like triple threads and stuff a lot in the past before to get try to get like Bo Jackson or other guys. But yeah. Always end up getting a lot of Whit Merrifield, which is okay because he's actually you know once again really solid. But well, one year on Cardsmith breaks we bought 
like Luke was saying, Kansas City Royals, I think they were like 15, 20 bucks for, I don't know, what there's was it? Nice there's a nice tattoos. tattoos. Was it a half case, maybe? It was an inner case, so it's inner a nine case, box yeah. inner case. And so um, we got them really cheap, and Bo Jackson was in there, so we thought, oh, maybe we'll hit some cool Bo Jackson stuff. Well, Sam, the owner of Cardsmith Breaks, uh, was doing a bounty for the 101. The first one to hit the red 101 would get how much? What was it? A three hundred dollar credit to a store. Oh, nice, a Keston. That's cool. So we end up hitting the first one of one. And it was the, Bo, it was Jackson. the Bo Jackson red. Or it was red, right? Yeah. And in yeah. that same case, we got like two Whit Merrifield autos yeah. and a Salvador, and a Salvador Perez, Perez white whale for like twenty bucks yeah. or <laughs> twenty five. But I don't know. It was cheap. So sometimes when you buy into breaks, you can do really well. We've done very poorly on a lot of them, but. Um, that's Every kind of what we've started doing now, staying away from random team ones and just buying really, really cheap teams and trying you gotta, to be done well yeah, with them. But you, you have to do your research. You have to know what their checklists are like and stuff. So you got to know the product and you got to know the checklist. If you don't know those two things, you can really get skunked as well. So you you got to watch these products. We've been watching breaks like those for years. So kind of know what to expect, but you got to know the checklist because otherwise it's really tough. It's really, really tough. Um, I mean, we've been. I don't even. We started watching breaks. I don't even know how long ago. I well, say that was like one. That was actually how we 12, got 12, 13, 2012 or 2013. Yeah, 13 was when now. we started really watching them. And back then, there was a few. There's a few like Packer and stuff. There's some big yep. card YouTubers, but there it wasn't like now where you can go and watch. So there's like oh, thousands of people that open up cards on YouTube. Right. Um, no, no. It was a lot very of breakers, limited. So. Yep. There's a Matt Fiesta or Festa Gold. Some of the some of the guys that are on there today, um, I I think I remember watching some Mike O videos. Um, yeah. Probably Baseball Collector was on there. Um, Silver Jackify, I think, was. Um, yeah, there are a few others. Uh, who's the guy downstate? Um, baseball at uh, the. Oh, Dave's, Dave's. Yep. Yeah, Dave. Um, oh, nice. He was on. Yeah. Pa yeah, Pac-Man was on there, though. Pac-Man and yeah. Packer. And Packer. They've been around a long time. Uh, there's another guy, Timmy G. Oh, yeah, Timmy G. Timmy G's yeah, Timmy, Timmy G was great. He was a football guy, and he brought a lot of energy, but he no longer is making videos. Um, yeah, so those were kind of the early days when there are a lot of people on there, but not like today. I mean, there's way more people Look making YouTube That's videos. That's a wonky yeah. heritage pack. It's out of a hobby box, so... Could hit Maybe some monster out of here. here. Yeah. Oh, there's a chrome. Ooh, nice. I think the chromes in this set look really cool. Max Kepler. Chrome out of nine ninety nine. Yeah, they're beautiful. The black and then of course the white chromes are the Those lower are really number. cool. I love the white chromes. Obviously they went with white because it the set is a black bordered set. Mm. Seventeen series one. Love to hit a judge or a judge parallel. I mean, a judge rainbow foil or something would be awesome. So there's a Orlando Arcia and a David Ortiz. Our favorite insert. Five tools. Those are awesome. Nolan Ryan. I think somebody was saying, and I totally agree with this, that people are gonna start chasing these inserts and from you know older sets, and that's one of them I'd chase. Another one would be. Night, uh, not 19, 2014, um, Tops Chrome Baseball. Mm -hmm. I know what you're talking what about. were they called though? I try to think. Were those the, the one die cut looking ones that like stuck together? No, they were not die cuts. Oh, they were the, like a um, like kind of like a stained glassy about. look to them. Yeah. Oh, shoot. They're black, right? Yeah, they're okay. yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they're awesome looking. Um, let's do Bowman. There's some other ones too, but that tools of the trade one, that one is five tools or five tools. Yeah, that's a really good one. One of the better tops inserts of all time, in my opinion. That since I've collected, especially for the uh, what's that? Ooh, Liam Jenkins paper auto. Nice, sweet, cool. So I was hoping to be a colored, um, but still a base paper. Still yeah. cool to get out of a five dollar pack. Not bad. I've actually been doing it in a nice Gavin Lux. Yeah, that's cool. Those are those are beautiful inserts. The top one hundred. I like I like the look of those this year. This has actually been a pretty above average video so far in terms of what we hit. Yeah, um, yeah. Especially the first ben part, well we've so got far. a pretty good stack of stuff over there. We haven't hit anything super crazy, yeah, like but, out of this world, but still definitely good. good. Yep. 
Could get a Derek Jeter autograph out of this stuff. Yeah, that'd I have no be... idea if there's hit any yeah. hits left in here. I've got no no clue what's going on. There. There's a gold looking thing. No, Matt Gamble. Yeah, there could be a Derek Jeter, but there's not. Yeah. <laughs> Keywords could be. 18 Series 1 Hobby. Jumbo. I mean. There's a relic in here, it looks like. A medallion, probably. We had ordered a bunch of these boxes on <laughs> Amazon. The buyer never came through. Uh, seller, actually. Our seller, sorry. We're the buyer. <laughs> the buyer ourselves never came through. The seller never came through, so we ordered them. Waited, waited, waited. So they're going to ship out, I don't know, what was it, May something? I don't even know. It never happened. I mean, we had, I don't even know how much. It was like $700 and boxes. Yeah, we had a whole bunch. It was a bunch, really good deal. They were yeah, like 50, 50 bucks, a bucks a box. Thanks to a guy on Instagram, I want to yeah, say. Yeah, somebody tipped us off. Tipped I can't us remember off who, said, I hey, there's a shout out. But. Yeah. And it was it wasn't his fault, obviously. He was just like, no. "Hey, I saw this deal. You guys should check it out if you're looking to buy some." And he never shipped. Chris um, Bryant, that's Bryant. Cool. I like those. The Arizona. I thought those were cool, and they made them that one year. Yeah, they're so, the 18. manufactured. I think they have to do away with those. I those agree. Flaherty, that's a nice one. I think they got to do away. I think Tops needs to take a different route with those. Everybody seems to not care about them as much anymore, the manufactured ones. Now, I'm sure there'll be people here that love them, um, which is fine. But I, I still think if they did an awesome parallel, some kind of different colored parallel that you're guaranteed, mm -hmm. I think that would be a much bigger um, success than those manufactured relics. I would think it'd be a lot cheaper to make as well. I would think so too, but I don't know. Um, if you're listening, Tom Armstrong. Just take that advice these cards are always interesting some of these yeah. kids are younger than i am Yep, yeah, they're like freshmen in high school some of them are 14 U. that's not even freshmen i love that dude's hair yeah that guy 15 has... U. that kid's that's no way that, that kid has a lot of hair he's got a beard going there kid's like 30 well maybe he missed a few years apparently <laughs> Collegiate, that's always a good sign. Yeah, you don't want like right. the 14 U. Collegiate's always better. Not always, but sometimes. That's cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. And the gold ink auto. Yeah, Spencer so what? Torkelson. <laughs> uh, not numbered. But... Is it numbered on the front? No, it's numbered on the front. Oh, yeah, it is right there. To 40. Usually I'm the one that never sees the number. I am. Yeah. That was hard to see, right? Yeah, by it the was. Gray there. I was, had, cool. I was like, we should get a numbered one. Well, that's a lot of stuff in that first half that of the break. Really, that was one of the better first half of breaks of this stuff that we've done in a while. So, so Pro so Debut it, it, is it up, it up. Pro Debut is the first pack I'll open, but Pro Debut 2020. I just looked today. Blowout is selling pre-orders of Pro Debut hobby boxes for ninety nine dollars. That's insane. That's just absolutely ridiculous. We bought this stuff for years for fifty to sixty dollars. Yeah, and nice. around seventy, it was starting to get expensive. There's a Soto. That's cool. That's cool. Um, he wasn't in the minors very long, so no. Moniac and Brent Honeywell. I'm yeah, not, I can't remember if I want to say. Maybe no, he might have. But he was in there for a little while, actually. Not real long. He's only what twenty. He just turned twenty-one, yeah. so couldn't have been there super long. So this is a retail pack, one of those rack packs or whatever. I bought a bunch of these a while ago for like two fifty-three a pack or yeah, something. Yeah, they're a good deal. Slowly been ripping. We haven't. We haven't. Anything. No, we haven't. It, it's very um, hard to hit some, something black. out of stuff. Here's a black mini. This is. AJ Pollock. I like that card. The There's fish. one. I don't. Why'd you turn it that way? Oh, I for some reason I thought it was upside <laughs> down. <laughs> it's a baby I, know, I just shark. saw this. I just saw this. I'm like, what? Okay, upside down shark. Look, it's a baby shark. It's that's where the Nationals got it from. This Kinter card, new to the zoo. Um, one year I can't remember what year it is, but I'm a big uh, fisherman up here. We live in northern Michigan, good fishing. I want to say it was two years ago. but and yeah, uh, Two or three, I can't remember. Yeah. I want to say it was 2017 Allen and Ginter. They did a subset, like a mini set in there, that was all like fish and fishing lures. So at one national, I found a guy who just had all of them, and so I bought the complete set, which I still have, and I think it's cool. 
Robert Kennedy. That is pretty cool. And our little spacer here. LeBron James and Jennifer Love Hewitt. So Goodwin Champs is one of those products that has some really wacky stuff in it. It does. Some really cool relics, actually. Um, but a lot of the base cards do not appeal to me. But we bought them pretty cheap, and this is something fun to add to random packs. Some people love to buy cases of it just because it is a very unique product. But um, I don't know that I'd go that far. I'd buy a case of it. It was a really good deal. But it definitely it, has a. It's kind of like Ginter in a way because yeah, Ginter's, it, it Ginter's not quite as weird, but it's pretty weird. The, the I was gonna say I'd buy a case of it if it was a, there was a really good deal on it sometime. But nowadays there's never good deals on mm. baseball cards. These have gone way up in price. Gypsy Queen has gone up in price for a while, though. It's not something new. There's an Aaron Judge and a Smith. W.G. Smith. Will Smith. The um, names on these are weird with just the first initial and then the last name. All right. Chrome update from last year. This stuff these... you can find on the shelves for forever. Yeah, forever. Yeah. These mega boxes were sitting around forever. Nice all right, uh, this is a rookie debut, uh, Goldschmidt. These cards are seriously bowed. Dude. Yeah, they are, and the, they I do. love these uh, inserts out here. The hundred fiftieth. The one year was it twenty eighteen where we completed that set? We opened up like a thousand mega boxes. It might not have been eighteen, maybe it was seventeen. Remember, there's like that twenty card set, and we opened up a bunch of them trying to complete the set. Yeah, I think so. If you go back and yeah. watch our YouTube videos from a while ago, you'll see it. All right, I see a point out this Bowman pack. This is the fat pack. Um, talent pipeline of Franco and the other hopefuls there. Um, Nico Horner. So we need a Dominguez Chrome or a Wit. There's a Logan Davidson. Davidson. Evan White, no first in that, no first Chromes. That's too bad. Yeah, these are a really good value. I'd say if you are looking to buy some packs, look for those fat packs. If you just want to buy a few of them, they're definitely a good value. You get a lot of Chrome in them, and we've had some pretty good Chromes out of there. All right, this is out of a blaster box. We found, we've been finding these uh, 2019 Heritage High Number. Retail sporadically. There's a Max Scherzer scratch off little thingy. Um, those are kind of a unique. This year's high number might be not very good. Yeah, I was thinking about that today about series two high number update. Well, it's series, be two, very series weird. two will be okay because it'll be it'll be kind of like when Otani was in it because it'll be just Robert for the most part. I don't really know who else they'd put in there. Um, yeah, I don't know either. Because that's what I mean. It's so weird because usually they'll have one or two other guys in there. and then But then for update, if they don't play, it's, what are they yeah, going to do? Yeah, what's update going to have? What are they going to update? There's a Jesus Lazaro. It might not be an update. Uh, they probably will still make one, though, because it's a big money maker for them. So. Yeah, you would think. Exactly. I can't imagine that. Because, yeah, it's a big money. I mean, they already have it on their... Um, you know, pre-orders, so. Maybe they'll do, like, a quarantine update where they just take pictures of all these guys in their homes. And then... <laughs> They're all playing uh, okay. MLB the show. That would actually be kind of cool. Like, people would probably think that's cool. Yeah. Even if they just did an insert set, like, stuck at home insert set or something, that'd be cool. Wasn't it two years ago when they had Series 2 and you could make bank off of those MLB the show cards? Yeah, they had coupon cards. They had, like, one of those... <laughs> For people who play uh, MLB The Show, um, there is a game mode in there. I can't remember. It's called, like, Diamond Dynasty, I think. I don't play that game a ton. I don't really play video games that much in general. But with the cards in Series 2, you get these little coupon codes in there for, like, a free pack for something in that game. And you could sell them for, like, 5 bucks a piece, and they weren't that hard to get. They no, were they were. They were... Yeah, they weren't very hard to get. And I, I remember because we bought a case that year, and that helped us recoup some of the cost on our on our case. Was, was those cards. Yeah. 
And then you could send the codes to people or send them the card or whatever, but yeah, it's funny. One weird thing that sold out of those packs were those things. All right, but you know, during the COVID thing, that was a big deal. They were all playing uh, MLB The Show and... No, oh, yeah. They're still doing it now. Yeah, yeah, they're still doing it now. Of course, I don't know that's MLB, but NBA is. That's the joke, you know. All these guys have been sitting around doing nothing. When they have to play, they're gonna be out of shape. There's a Tony Gwen. That's pretty cool. I think that's also a misconception. For I mean, baseball, you put in two, three hours of skill training in a day, you're gonna keep up. You don't really need to be the most athletically right. Athlete. I mean, look at some of the people. Look at like Bartolo Colon. It's not like he's like a. Well, he's a speed demon. You know, not like a premier athlete. I wouldn't go to him for fitness training necessarily. Um, Let's do 2017. Speaking of staying in shape, we got a message on Instagram, a DM from Dan the Lesser Man. Check out his YouTube channel. Uh, he messaged us saying, hey, uh, your uh, card that you posted was re retweeted and it was the possum card that we pulled retweeted. i retweeted sorry wrong uh social media it was reposted uh and it was possum himself mm -hmm. that posted it on his story and that was pretty cool but in that in a story it was right in the middle of a story uh because before and after our the screenshot of our card uh was him in the batting cage so that was mm -hmm. pretty cool to see that was awful. I neat. actually, I actually interacted with them over DM. I tried to get him to do an interview with us on our channel, which would have been awesome. Um, but he is from the Dominican and doesn't really speak much English, so it would have been very challenging. Um, I do take Spanish, but by all means, and not like not even <laughs> close to fluent not Spanish. Fluent, right? You like, could not maybe understand a few words. I could pick but... out like "hi," and I don't even know. I know the word for baseball which is baseball. Um, that's about it. So nothing too crazy out of that Bowman pack. A couple firsts in there. All right, so we got this pack and then our tribute pack. So You haven't added one thing besides the Soto. I know. My, my stack has been kind of weak. That's what happens, though. Usually you start out like that or it's the other way around. It's tough to keep up. That was like that Bowman box, that hobby box we opened. You didn't hit anything out of that. No, I got absolutely side. nothing. I mean, I may have hit a few things in there, but not much. So we'll see. Maybe I'll come down to the tribute pack. Maybe I'll hit a massive card out of there. You easily could. I think those are like five or six hundred dollar boxes now. Yeah, they're Rainbow crazy. Foil. Rainbow foil. Oh, no, gold foil. Oh, gold foil. Hey, that's not bad to get a rookie. Sam cool. Hilliard. I think I've heard good things about him. I don't know much about him, but so I know some people have said he's. Yeah, you get you hit up because I've done a lot of research on. That's cool oh, that's too. a good one. Yeah, I've done a lot of research on those players like that. And if you get a um, that a good gold stack. foil or something, you can do pretty. Yeah, you know, top rookie, you can do pretty well. So AJ Puck. Um, these boxes have gone way up, like crazy i think 200 bucks a box now for a jumbo maybe more i mean they kind of deserve it considering how like for series one this is a seriously loaded product um normally yeah. you don't get this good of a rookie product until like update well right and there's no other for the longest time there was nothing else coming yeah, out so buy. yeah and we hit didn't this year we hit a one-on-one too we hit the degrom uh wasn't that from this year's stuff the degrom like letterman patch and patch thing yeah, it we was. That Wasn't that the first box first we did? Box. Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's see what we got out of this tribute. I have a feeling it's going to be a relic, but yeah, it looks like a thick. It's pack. pretty thick, so we'll see. Definitely a relic. Definitely a relic. Um, Could be like a patch on, and it's a relic. I can tell just from the front. All right, so we have a Lou Gehrig. Cards are just gorgeous. Love the look of these. Lou Gehrig. Show the card in the back first. I Chris like Bryant card too. Yeah, that's cool. And the last hit, last card of the break. Uh, it's a relic for sure. Oh wow, that's that cool. Autograph on it. That's cool. Look at that. That's sweet. 
So it's like they cut up an autographed jersey of his. And Randy Johnson, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. And it's a bat. Oh, that's cool. That's actually a really cool relic. With yeah, the that relic is. A, I've never seen that with a, I have, a pen um, mark on there. Or, I've seen or a Sharpie. David Ortiz and like, you know, Dynasty where they have those sweet yeah. patches and stuff. They had a like a big chunk of his autograph in the jersey along with his gonna autograph. Say, card. Yeah, not from a, any specific game or event. Yeah. But it says that on the back, but it is right. game used. It says it on the front. Oh, yeah, right there. Yep. Game use. Game use. So pretty cool. All right. So that was a good way to end the break. So Luke, definitely his first half was pretty darn good. Second half, not so great, but still overall pretty fun. We love doing these. Uh, We have a whole bunch of boxes sitting around for these breaks, which takes a lot of self-control for us not to open them up. But we obviously love to do these videos and hopefully you guys enjoy them as well. We've actually gotten pretty good at the self-control part. We've done this now for years, so it's gotten a lot easier than it was before, but sometimes it is still challenging. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. I know, exactly. <laughs> but when you, especially now with the price of wax, you just don't even want to open it. I mean, yeah, I you, like, without uh, doing a video. Um, I mean, we do want to open it, but we know that we can't afford to replenish our stock every day. Exactly. When you're paying double, triple, quadruple what prices used to be. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what your favorite card was of that break. What was your favorite product that we opened up as well? Uh, like to hear from you. Uh, and uh, hopefully you're doing well, staying safe. Uh, these obviously are unusual times. We're hoping that you're all safe and well. Take care. Have fun collecting. We'll see you in the next video.